Hi, my name's Katie. Welcome to Making Ideas with the Microbit and Strawbies. Lindsay and I are so excited to be with you today. Hello, my name is Lindsay Balfour and I'm on the Strawbies team based in Sweden. And I'm also excited to share with you a wonderful new board called the Robotic Inventions for Microbit. So let's learn more, Katie. Awesome. We have three goals today for you to learn more about the Microbit, Strawbies, and an entirely new world of physical computing brought to life by these amazing strawbies. Let's get started and play. <laughs> so for those of you that don't know what strawbies are, we're well known for making these fantastic little colorful connectors and this construction straw system that you can snap together, fit in, and even slide pieces like this. But we also extend the construction system to electronics. So with the microbit, for example, many of you may be using microbit with cardboard, paper, some various materials that you have in your, in your school or home. And what we do is we are trying to extend our construction system to make it much easier. So we have like this small snap that you can actually snap onto the microbit and easily add straws to it like this so you can start to build around the electronics but we also have something called the robotic inventions board so it's a way for you to slide the micro bit in like this and it's battery powered so you can upload the code into the board into the micro bit and then you can remove it but what's the nicest part is that you can add servo motors so we have these special servo motor pieces where we have a strawby arm that you can connect the straw to, to make movement in your construction pieces. So making met motions and mechanics, mechanisms, and also snapping the electronics to a straw like this. And what's nice is we actually are removing the breadboard. So we are making it so you can directly connect the servo motor to the board. And all you have to do is turn it on. And you can see a little bit of motion and movement with some beautiful colorful pixels as an accessory. So, you know, you can make simple kinetic or potential energy based mechanisms. And then you can also add to the mechanisms. So now I have this simple crane. So we're going to talk a little bit more about how we use the robotic inventions for the microbit. And the learning materials that are available with Strawbies and microbit are all free. It is really easy to get started learning how to construct with Strawbies and the microbit. Lindsay, do you want to share any more about the learning materials? Yes. Yeah, so a lot of the information you can find online right now on learning.strawbies.com if you want to learn more about the robotic inventions board. And there's also a few activities online that you can use as base models and lesson plans as well that you can implement into your classroom or library space. Awesome. So now we're going to deep dive just a little bit into these components so you see what it is that your students are constructing with. So here I have a little microbit motion detector. This is my water bottle and I don't want anybody drinking out of my water bottle. So I created this little system that if somebody takes a drink, this X appears and I know somebody touched my water bottle. This is just one cool project you can make with the microbit because it is a tiny pocket sized computer. It is a really powerful and creative tool with buttons. You see these lights on the front, you have a compass and the accelerometer, which is that tilt sensor I used to change to, to measure the change in its, its orientation. So the microbit is a tiny computer designed for students ages 8 to 14, and you can program it using make code. So I want to talk a little bit about physical computing because microbit is a fantastic tool on online, especially through make code, where there is a visual prototyping tool that you can see what is happening with your code before you even upload it. And what Strawbies is doing is we're trying to complement that visual 
that visualization of your prototype of your code and bring it into the physical world. Because what also happens is you can build something, you can rapidly prototype and snap together and even remove straws and roughly the, the structure does not fall apart. And the thing about physical computing is that it's a way that you can express and modify your ideas. So it's like a real world applicability to your code. You can be using the code to, to attach to maybe a design challenge or you know, a solution to a problem, but you can also see it in the real world. So interaction with buttons or light sensors, even making the mechanism move uh, connected to the servo motor. So if the servo motor is moving a little too fast, or maybe you want to make more of a back and forth swaying motion, that's what physical computing allows you to do, that you can see how your program works in the real world. And with Strawbees, what you can do is you can actually build large geometric structures and uh, that are also very lightweight, and you can create geometric structures, the same ones that are very small in scale, and you can make kinetic mechanical inventions, and of course build robots with snap-on electronic parts. So right now, the Strawbees robotic inventions for the microbit board, we, this is roughly what it looks like. So we have an extension. So if you were to go to make code and look up the extensions and type strawbies in the field, you can actually look and you can actually upload the, the extensions right now to make code. So you can actually access this tool and see for yourself how it works. So you can see how we modify the servo motors. Sorry about that, Lindsay. No problem. So as Lindsay was just saying, when you go into make code, you can add that package for strawbies. And right now, that might seem really neat for students in a future classroom, or we might be thinking, wow, I'd really like to get my students together for this. But you actually don't have to wait to be back together in one place. You can use the Microbit Classroom as a way to teach these Strawbees lessons remotely. So Microbit Classroom is a way to organize and manage a remote classroom where you can share code with students. And in this activity, I just named it Strawbees plus Microbit. So if I'm a teacher in a classroom and I want to invite my students in, I can teach this lesson in MakeCode or Python. For today, I chose MakeCode. And what's really neat about this is nobody can see this data. It doesn't go anywhere else but your own computer if you choose to save it on your computer. You don't have to save it if you don't want to. So that's what this little checkbox right here is for. Now, as Lindsay was mentioning, when you add in that make code package for Strawbees, it will appear right here in this menu bar and you get this wonderful simulator. So this allows your students to begin creating even without the physical hardware, they can start to visualize what their project will do. But in Microbit Classroom, I just wanted my students to take baby steps. So I created this tiny code here and now I want to share it with students. After I share it, I'll go back to my teacher dashboard and invite my students to come into the classroom. Just by going to this URL and entering the classroom name and the PIN number, they will be able to open up the lesson that I've created for them. Now, if we were really doing this, where you see zero students have joined on your screen, you would start to see student names appearing. And in order to see the code and virtually peer over their shoulder, you can go into the student code window and actually click on their names and see the projects that they're working on. Now, when you're finished with this lesson, you will want to save your data so that you can open it back up again with your students for the next live coding session. You just simply do that by saving your classroom. You can find Microbit Classroom at microbit.org. Thank you, Katie, for that very informative, expansive touch upon the tools that you have in Microbit. Lovely. So I want to briefly touch upon one final point about uh, creative learning and creative thinking with invention literacy. So with Strawbees, even though we have, you know, these models that we create, we have a color coded system that you can see that certain sizes of the connect, uh, certain size of the straws or certain legs of the connectors are color coded for easy access. But we love and follow the path pedagogy of the Creative Learning Spiral by Lifelong Kindergarten and Invention Literacy by Jay Silver. So we are trying to produce more so imagination over instructions, trying to promote more creative learning in the classroom.
by building what you believe in and what you want. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us for this introduction to Strawbees and Microbit. Please do check out learning.strawbees.com and microbit.org for more resources. And we can't wait to see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.